Hello, our dear students. Welcome to our English TV classroom, lesson three. My name is Tanya Radošević, and I'm your teacher today. And my dear fellow colleague and friend, Maria Davidović, here, is going to help me with that. Hello, guys. How are you? I think they're fine now. I think they are. Yes. yes. Okay. Today's lesson is about present perfect, or have you ever done something like this? Drugari, slušajte ovako. Imam ovdje jedan mali uh, simpatični mobilni telefon. Kada god na nekom slajdu vidite mobilni telefon, priđite ekranima slobodno i uslikajte ono što vam je važno. To će biti važno zbog vežbanja, to će biti važno i zbog toga da vam nešto ostane trajno. Tako da možemo da počnemo. Što misliš? Of course. Thank you. Uh, još jednom, ne treba ništa da pišete. Please listen. Mm -hmm. Please listen. Ok? Tako je. Ok? Now. Sam, please. Oh. Uh, we should revise something about uh, the present perfect tense, right? Yes. Ok, so... Let's revise. Let's revise. Let's revise, ok? Hajde yes. da ponovimo. So, Adam. Is this tense describing present or past? Well, the action actually happened mm -hmm. in the past, but it is very important for present situation. It's important for now. Oh, but what do you mean by that? Well, you'll see. It's simple, really. Mm -hmm. So if you say something like, I've lost my keys. Izgubio sam ključeve. Pa izgubio sam ključeve. Mm -hmm. Bad luck. Šta misliš da li je važno kad je on izgubio ključeve? Pa ja ne znam, ja kad izgubim ključeva, izgubila sam ih tri puta do sada, stvarno nisam... Pa kako ostalo da znam kada sam izgubila? Kako da znaš? Da si znala kad ne bih izgubila? Znala sam bih, gde sam ih izgubila pa bih našla. Tako je. Tako je, ok, da. So, if you say something, I've lost my keys, it is something that you say because now, sada, you want to open your house's doors. Znači, ne možete da uđete u kuću. But, you have already lost them, Već se to desilo. Jeste. So, you just don't know when and where, of course. Yes. Um, so. Uh, ha, so it's about past that is important mm. now. Yes. Oh, that's why it's present perfect, right? Yes, okay. exactly. So, that is why we use this tense for news, for, for news. example. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, for example, the plane has just landed. Upravo je sleteo avion. Mm -hmm. The fire has just stopped. Upravo je zaustavljen požar. Upravo. Mm -hmm. Dobro. A car has just hit, hit the bus. Uuu, auto je upravo udario autobus. Pa dešava se. Dobro, ovih dana valjda neće. Ne valjda bi trebalo, neće. valjda neće, ok? Come on, TV lessons have just started. Upravo su počeli časovi na televiziji. Hvataj mesto, zauzimaj položaj i slušaj. Okay. Znači, važno da se dešava za mm. sadašnjost je bitno, ali već je počelo da se dešava. Ono što stvari ti sad nama hoćeš da kažeš jeste da tu nije toliko važno kad. Ali Nego... već je počelo da se dešava. Dobro, ali je važno, važno šta? Važno je šta. A, zato je u vestima to... Pa da, i važno je da se... Aha. Vezano je za sad. Važno nam je sad. Važno okay. nam je za sadašnjost. Naprimer, um, Novak Đoković has won some master tournament. A onda ide, last week, Novak Djoković van. Won. Razumem. Aha, ok, ok, razumem, dobro. Zato što u prvom slučaju nije važno kad, ali je vest, tako da to objavljaju. Pa naravno da je vest važna kad Novak Djoković osvoji neki Grand Slam, kako ne. Ok, so, we use it when we talk about actions which have happened, to smo već objasnili, but we don't know when, or it is not important when not at, at all. all. So they have happened, that's important, it already happened. For example, I can't come into my house because I have lost my keys. Who cares when? Who cares Who when? Who cares? Exactly. That's right. Sure. And we use this tense to connect past and present. Mm -hmm. Znači da povežemo prošlost i sadašnjost. To je mnogo Koje? važno. Raju prvo iz razloga zato što u srpskom jeziku, u našem maternjem jeziku ovakvog vremena glagolskog nema. Ne, nemamo nema, ništa slično. Nemamo ništa slično. Mm -hmm. So for example, 
When an action started in the past at some point in time, it is still in progress. Is there an example for this? Imali primera za ovo? Kako ne? Oh, I have lived in Barcelona for five years. A to znači da i dalje živiš tamo? Pa ne kažem živela sam u Barceloni pet godina, nego ovo znači da živim. A već kad smo kod ovog, ok, imam zadatak za tebe. Kaži. Evo, ja živim u Beogradu. Ajde mi daj sve mogućnosti na engleskom. I live in Belgrade. I have lived in Belgrade. I am living in Belgrade. I sad recimo, mi smo teacher, teachers, i sad zadamo deci da ovo prevedu. Mislim, mladim ljudima, pardon, smaci. I sad... Zadamo samo tako ja živim u Belgradu. I napiše neko I live in Belgrade, neko I'm living in Belgrade, neko I have lived in Belgrade. And guess what? Everything is correct. That's right. Because... Zašto? Zato što u svakom trenutku u našem jeziku se to tako kaže. Yes. U prezentu. Međutim, kod Engleza se razlikuje tačno. Ako hoćete da kažete da trenutno živite u Belgradu, reći ćete I'm living in Belgrade. Ako živite već neko vreme, a to još uvek traje, onda je I have lived in Belgrade. Pa dodaš recimo od kad? Ili koliko dugo? Tako je, tako je. Znači ili for five years, ili since 2015, na primer. Ili ćete reći I live in Belgrade, što znači da stano tu živite. Ili od uvek. Ili da to je jednostavno nešto što traje. Činjenica. Činjenica. Aha, ok. So, please tell us the formula for this. Ok, it's very simple. Ok, for positive, za potvrdni oblik. I have lived in Belgrade for more than 25 years. Question for Tanya. How long have you lived in Belgrade? Uh, I have lived in Belgrade for, I don't know, five years. Mm -hmm. And now, guys, I have not lived in Barcelona so far. Never. I have never lived in Barcelona. Nikad nisam živjela u Barceloni. I have never lived. Znači imamo i have i lived. Yes. Dobro. Dakle, pogledajte ovaj grafikon. Past, but it lasts till now. Počinje u prošlosti i još uvek je validno. Znači... Uslikajte ovaj kadar. Please. Nadam se da ste pripremili telefone. Naravno, ako imate tu mogućnost, sad nije smak sveta, ako nemate. Sigurna sam da svi kod kući imate učbenik iz engleskog jezika i sigurno da ova tema postoji. So, it is verb auxiliary, znači pomoćni glagol, have, koji je u present simple. Biće ili have ili has. I idemo, dodajemo na to glavni glagol. On može da bude pravilan, kao što znate, na njega se dodaje samo nastavak ID. Sorry, je li onda isti oblik kao za past simple? Identičan. Aha, super. I imate nepravilne gde se glavni glagol nalazi u onom što vi zovete treća kolona. Third column. Jeste, to se zove past participle, prošli particip. Ukoliko je nekom važno ili želi to da zna. Samo vas ove dve teachers mole da ne kažete past particip nikada. Ili je prošli particip ili je past participle. Past particip nije srpski jezik. Hvala u napred. To je anglosrpski. And what about question forms you ask? But please tell me, what do we do? Ok, there is that word inversion. What's inversion? Inverzija, nešto što se obreće, nešto što je obrnuto, izvrnuto. Naprimer... Kad se zamene mesta. A je to, to. To jeste. E sad ima jedna stvar. Svako glagolsko vreme u engleskom jeziku, koliko u potvrdnom obliku ima pomoćni glagol, ovaj auxiliary verb, little helping verb, Tanja, što se dešava? Kako se gradi upitni oblik? Pa upitni oblik se gradi tako što se samo taj pomoćni glagol koji nam pomaže da napravimo pitanje premesti ispred subjekta. Ok, ako kažemo yesterday I was working for five hours, kako ću samo sebe pitati? Was I working? Ah, to, ok. Ali sad ne pričamo o tom vremenu, imamo drugi primjer. A, izvini, molim te. Aha, dakle, have, has, is put before the subject, ispred subjekta, and that's it. Can you tell us some examples, please? Have you watched all TV lessons so far? Yes, I have. Of course. Has he ever done that? 
No, he hasn't. Mm -hmm. Okay? So guys, you see a little mobile guy. Please. So how do we make negatives? You forgot to let them make a no, photo of the previous slide. Can no. you, s please, please. No. Return it. No, negatives, okay. please. Uh, you didn't? You haven't? Okay. You haven't. Okay, and how do we make negatives? Okay, all the same. You have that little helping word, auxiliary verb, here it is, have, has. Dodate koje ono reč, Tanja? Not. Not, jeste. A main verb, glavni glagol? Pa glavni glagol nam ostaje u onoj trećoj koloni, past mm -hmm. participle. Mm -hmm. Ili idi, mm -hmm. ako je glagol pravljen. Dobro, znači? Znači, I haven't been to school for weeks. True. Nobody has. Mm -hmm. He hasn't done his homework yet. True. Also true. Mm -hmm. Please take a picture of this slide as well. Okay. Dok fotografišu. So, there's something called positive form. Here we said plus form. So it's something positive, question form, and of course there is a minus form which means negative. Negative form, yes. So positive form, let us repeat and let's have this slide again. Okay, this is like, uh, these are three short formulas for the present perfect tense. Znači, yes. three formule prethodno objašnjene ovde date na najkraći mogući način. Dakle, have has pomoćni glagol, glavni glagol koji, na koji se dodaje idi ako je pravilan, ako nije, treća kolona. Upitni. Upitno je samo inverzija, jeste, tako? Jeste, zamena mesta pomoćnog glagola i subjekta i odrično je naravno pomoćni glagol plus not. Have not, has not, haven't, hasn't. That's it. True. Mm -hmm. Easy. So, present perfect is used to express activities that happened or repeated several times at some point in the past. When? is not important. No. No. Mi ne kažemo, ne znamo, nije važno kad. Ono što je važno jeste da je u nekom trenutku, periodu, do sad. Tako povezujemo prošlo sa sadašnjašću. Exactly. Or? Or activities with for or since that began in the past and continue in the present. Mm -hmm. So, I've been living, I have lived in Belgrade for 10 years, 5 years, 20 years, mm -hmm. and so Take uh, a picture of this one as well, please, mm -hmm. guys. Also, uh -huh. never, never ever use present perfect with sentences u rečenicama u kojima imate when, mm -hmm. kada, before, pre, mm -hmm. after, posle, or as soon as, čim. Mm -hmm. čim. Because all these expressions, svi ovi vremenski izgovori govore o određenom vremenskom trenutku. A nama nije bitno u ovom vremenu present perfect da znamo u kome to trenutku. E, dakle, kad mislimo o vremenu, u sadašnjem prošlom vremenu, zaboravimo kad. Tako je. Ven zaborav. Kad nije važno. Nije važno. Još jedna sličica. Mm -hmm. Za kolekciju. Da. Present perfect collection. <laughs> But, what should we use? Well, you should use the following. Mm -hmm. Since and for, ever, never, yet. Okay, True. Tanya, since and for, usually used for? For what? Mm -hmm. Since and for. To explain how long something yes. was going on. Što bi nas... Iliko je nešto dugo trajalo. Yes, te počelo u prošlosti još uvek traje. Najčešće. Mm -hmm. Ne uvek, nije obavezno, ali najčešće. I have lived in Belgrade for 30 years. I have lived in Belgrade since 1990. Good. Živim u Beogradu. Nije živela sam, živim. Mm -hmm. Ili, okay. I have never done that. Nikada nisam to radila, mm -hmm. do sad. I haven't been in Barcelona yet. Još uvek nisam bila u Barcelona. Još uvek. Još uvek do sad. 
Tako je. Znači, pričamo o prošlim iskustvima koje su se desila do sad. Tako je. I imamo Just. Ok, imamo Just, imamo Already. Imamo ih nekoliko. Nekoliko, ali you guys know that. So take a photo of this. Take a photo of this one as well. Here are the examples. Yes. Mm -hmm. He hasn't lived in New York since 2018. Mm -hmm. Can you translate this one? Pa, ona nije živela u New Yorku od 2018. A može, ona ne živi u New Yorku. Pa od tada ne. Može i to. She has lived here for five years. Ona živi ovde pet godina. Have you ever traveled by plane? Da li si ikada putova avionom? Pričamo o iskustvima. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have never been in Brazil. Nikad nisam bila u Brazilu. Isto pričamo o iskustvima. He hasn't left his country yet. Još uvek nije napustio svoju zemlju. Da. I I've just heard the news. Upravo sam čula vesti. Good news. Let us think about good news. We will hear good news. Right? We will. I really, really hope so. Okay. So, Sam, what did we talk about last time? Well, last time we talked about past tenses mm -hmm. and we have fun talking about differences uh, between British and American English. Yay! Yes. And... Huh. Now, Adam, you said you were a good son, right? So, of what did course. you do? I helped my mom. Okay. And can you... You helped your mom. I helped my mom. Can you make... Uh, Question in the negative. Of course. Okay, sentences, I mean. If I say, I helped my mom, yes. then a question would be, did I help my mom? Because I have to remember that did mm -hmm. in past simple. Okay, That's so did you help questions. your mom? Yes, I did. Okay, did you help your dad? I didn't. No, you didn't, okay. No, I did okay. not help him. Okay. But here is the example. Now, please explain when do we use past simple, Sam? Okay. We use the past simple tense when we know when some action happened, mm -hmm. it's finished, it is in the past. You remember the blue cross? Done. Done. Timeline, the blue cross, plavi krstić na vremenskoj lini. To je to. Radnja se desila, samim tim završena, deo prošlosti. Važno je da znamo, kažemo ili podrazumemo when. Ili znamo oba govornika o čemu se radi, kad je to bilo, ili baš kažemo. Naprimjer, I saw a concert yesterday. Dakle, rekli smo kad je. And last year I traveled to Greece. Last year je godina koja je prošla. To je završeno. So, I told you that my mom was working from home while I was watching my lessons on TV. While. 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 Dok, dok, za vreme. Znači, to je nešto što nam pomaže da šta? Je li to ono iz matematike? Jeste. Aha, dve paralelne. Paralelne, ja. Dve, one dve paralelne linije. Jeste. Aha, dobro, za, aha. To je isto nije. Jeste. Tako da mi ovdje imamo pomoćni glagol to be u past simple. Jeste. Koji glasi ili was za jedninu, ili were za množinu i za you. I onda dodajemo glagol glavni. I na šta radimo sa glavnim glagolom? Dodajemo ING. Jeste. U svim continuous ili progresi vremenima uvek na glavni glagol dodajemo ING, a pomoćni je uvek tu bi. Ona promenljiva konstanta, kako ja nazovu. Tako je. Jeste nazvah, da, promenljiva konstanta. Dakle, primjeri su she was working, they were working. Sure, this is past continuous or past progressive tense, as I have already said. Yes. So questions, Adam, please. Was my mom working from home? Dakle, kad pravimo pitanje, opet pomoćni glagol koji imamo, koji nam pomaže da napravimo pitanje, stavimo ispred subjekta. Was my mom working from home? Dakle, was were je pomoćni glagol, zovemo ga auxiliary verb, u ovom slučaju to je glagol to be, koji dođe ispred subjekta i glavnog glagola infinitive plus ing. You mean inversion, inversia? Yes, I mean inversion. So, please tell us something about negative. Or? Negative is when you put on the auxiliary verb not, so mm -hmm. wasn't, weren't. For mm -hmm. example, my mom was not or wasn't mm -hmm. working from home. So it's very, very simple rule, as we already explained. Dakle. To ponavljamo već. Jeste. 
potvrdni oblik, I was working, he was working, we were working. Pitanja, were you working, was he working, were they working? I odrični oblik, I wasn't working, he wasn't working, they wasn't working. That's it. Yeah, they weren't working. I think they were. You think? Yes, I do. Oh. I'm sure. Okay. Okay. We also mentioned the differences between yes, yes. British, British and American, American English. English. Okay, can I be an American again? Yeah. Please. Okay, thank you. So, how would you say, for example, film? Da. Movie. A film. Okay. Kako bi rekla trotoar? Mm. Ne mogu da se sjeti. British English. Mm -mm. P word starting in P. Pavement. P sidewalk. Pavement. In American English, mm. sidewalk. Yes. Okay. What's next? Program. 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 Mm. Ali šta ovde imamo? Drugačije se piše. British Tako English, je. double M. Okay, hajde maš jedan primjer za drugačiji spelling. Ajde. Kako ćeš kazati center? Center. Center. Ali... A, ah, pišemo ga drugačije. Oh, oh sorry. sorry. It's okay. Uh, uh, Here's center. So, R-E yeah. for British English and E-R for American English. What about color? Uh, color. Color. Okay. You are British English, just are American English. American English is simpler, that's the fact. I mean, yeah, a little yes. bit simpler. Yes. And what, what is left? Uh, I think something that we all need these mm. days. Mm -hmm. We all need this. Yes, we all need courage. You mean courage? Yeah, whatever. Okay. Yes, that's we all need I that. Mean. Svima nam je to potrebno, ali mi smo svi hrabri. I vi ste da su pravda mladi ljudi sigurno mnogo hrabri ovih dana. Okay. Ovo su vežbe koje ćemo vam uh, na kraju reći kako glase, ali Ono što je bitno sada da uradite, pošto je ovo domaći, da uslikate uh, nekoliko samo rečenica i na nekoliko sljedećih slajdova, kako bismo mogli ovo da uradimo zajedno. So, simple past or present perfect. Znači, present perfect ne kažemo, ne znamo, nije važno kad, ever, never, yet, already, since, for, a past simple mora da ima ven. Jel' tako? Ne mora da ima van, a mora da se zna kad je bio. A to je ona, I was born in Kikinda. Yes. Ne mogu da se rodim sto puta, nego yes, ne jednom sam se rodila i ne moram da kažem kad. Ok, razumijem. Tako je. Imamo okay. još jednu. Uh, fotografišite, deco. Pardon, mladi ljudi. Ok. So, so these are the answers. So, Do we give them the answers now or not? Just it quickly. I have visited Chicago many Chicago many times so far. John went to Chicago three days ago. When I saw Joe, he didn't feel very well. We haven't been to school for two weeks. That's true. Mm -hmm. We bought this car last year. Have you ever been to Spain? So, That's this is homework. Yes. Our dear, dear TV pupils, we hope you had fun today. We really do. So just please copy the photos you've just made, you have just made into your notebooks or type the content sadržaj on your computers or make a presentation. Whatever makes you happy. Whatever. Yes. Just do the homework. Yes, please. tenses are important. Yes. And easy, right? Goodbye for now. Take care of yourselves. Wash your hands. Stay healthy. Listen to your parents. And stay tuned.